the Sports Tonight Humanitarian Bowl Tailgate Party. All right, thank you very much, guys. The Sports Tonight Humanitarian Bowl rolls on here, and there is plenty to do related to the Humanitarian Bowl today. If you're up early anyway and you want to head down to the stadium, tailgate parking opens up right after the show ends. Kickoff is 2.30 p.m. Mountain Time, and, of course, we'll be on the air with U of I Athletic Director Rob Spear in an exclusive interview today at noon. And post game wrap up tonight at 9.30 in Boise, 11 p.m. in Moscow, Lewiston. This year not only exciting for the Vandals, but for the bowl game itself. You see, having a state team in the game is a positive for Boise and many of the local businesses. Michael Calcano reports. Thank you for calling the double tree. You could say Falcon calls came in all day as Bowling Green fans arrived and checked into their hotel. They'll do whatever it takes to try to make it. Elvis Sanderson came to see his son play on Wednesday. And had a pay ticket, $1,200. Yeah, it's very costly to come out here. It seems like the economy is affecting us. The Doubletree says although things are down, there are about 80 rooms booked with Falcons, which is better than last year and Nevada's 50 rooms. With every school, there's always their loyal fans and the families, and they'll follow the team. And following the team from Moscow, thousands of vandals in town. Today gearing up with warm Vandal gear. It's going to be a good game. I'm rooting for Idaho and I'm pretty sure Idaho's going to win this one. At the Grove Hotel, they've been booked solid since Christmas with three-fourths U of I fans. It's a great vibe in the hotel. Um, everybody's here for a common goal and uh, we really are rooting on our Vandals. And a common goal for Treasure Valley retailers during the slow post-Christmas period? A boost in sales. The visitor impact is one thing. Bobby Peterson with the Boise Visitors Bureau says on top of the $2 million infusion of cash directly from the humanitarian bowl, there are ripple effects. They all stay in hotels and spend money and eat in restaurants and rent cars and do those kinds of things. So its impact is uh, is is really pretty big. And a big attraction for those out-of-towners. What are you thinking about the blue turf? I don't know. That's wild. I've watched it on television and it's, it's different, so I just have to see. All right, guys, we, we hear from a couple of Bowling Green fans there that are excited, but Jay, my question for you, up there around Lewiston, Moscow area, how excited were people to drive down to Boise for the game? Uh, more than eager to fill up their tanks with gas, no matter how much does it cost right now, you know what I mean? No, no, but everybody on the Palouse is excited, fans, alumni, players, you know, it's just simply been a long time since the Vandals have had an opportunity to play this deep into the season, you know, earlier this week up on the Palouse, the Vandal players, you know, they, had, they were practicing outside in 30 degree weather and I asked if it bugged that, if it bugged them at all and they said, no, we like this, we, we're ready for this to happen every year. So in the weight room, you know, they're kind of, they're listening to fun music, they're dancing, they're having a good time up there and they're, they're really relishing this and so are all the fans too. Now, down here in Boise, in the Treasure Valley, John, you live down here. How excited were the Vandal fans that they don't have to make the trek up north to watch the team? Well, that's, uh, you know, a, a good Vandal fan doesn't mind uh, that trip up. <laughs> and I've made that many a times as well as uh, a lot of my friends. So uh, that's not the problem. But the, the great thing is, is that uh, Coach Chris Tormey brought uh, the Vandals down uh, last time. And he's a great friend of mine and uh, just a first-class person. And uh, got us a win in the, uh, the H-Bowl, which was huge for us. And uh, that's what we want again this year. We, uh, we want Coach Aikie to uh, bring his football team out onto the field and uh, get after these guys because uh, uh, they deserve some good things to have happen to them and uh, that's what we're hoping for. I think it's good for college football in the state overall when you can have the Vandals and the Broncos both good at the same time so this is going to be a lot of fun. We are not quite done with this edition of the Sports Tonight Humanitarian Bowl pregame special. Before we go we'll wrap things up with what to watch for today as the Vandals take on the Falcons and share with you the best moments of the 2009 season. Coming up next, stick with us.